always want to get a good run around, aren't you? Welcome to my parlor, Doctor. I do hope you enjoy your last fruitless moment here. What, in a back alley in Cardiff? What was it last time? A uh, back alley in London? Honestly, what is it with you in back alleys? Uh, that's where you're wrong, you Gallifrey and worm. This particular back alley is special. In fact, not a back alley at all. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's clever. I mean, it's not that clever. But I can give you some credit. You tried. Frankly, I'm more impressed that you, you know, unpuddled yourself somehow. Yeah, how did you do that? Unpuddled myself? Doctor, there's a reason I came to it. And it was specifically to find you and face you myself. Hello. A few years ago, young Absorbalovian came to this stupid rock. He was a noble, handsome fellow. He had a spring in his step, and it got a bit self-absorbed. He was my son, Doctor. Me first born, me baby. And you watched him melt. As far as I'm concerned, you were complicit in his assassination. Also, you're not the same. Well, that solves a lot of problematic questions before they arise. Also, your son did, you know, absorb a lot of people. I'm sorry, but we couldn't let him get away with it. You hold him in contempt for his instincts! Disgraceful! Well, now that you've fallen into my trap, the Earth has nothing to stop me from absorbing every little meatbag on it! Starting with you! Don't try it. That's too risky, even for you. You can shut it, Doctor. I've already done a risk assessment, so I brought someone along to have a little playtime with you. Now, where the devil is that N-E key? Yep. There we are. Chamber opening. Time for you to face the beast. And now, my delightful associates, my lovely agent of chaos, my most elegant bringer of all obliteration. You know what to do. This is needlessly dramatic. Honestly, are you? Are the scourge of all that I have come to know. I can think of no more of a fitting fate for what I am about to unleash upon you. Now I'm warning you, you don't want to do this. Oh, this is truly the end for you, Doctor. The Avengers never tasted so savoury. I can't wait to goof up your smushed up remains and take your time machine. Like father, like son, I suppose. A moment suited one. I wasn't talking to you. I'm not wearing the suit. Wait. Wait, woman. No, no! No! Oh, you melted him. That whining old fool has kept me waiting in that hole for three months, giving me nothing but baked beans and stale wheat, a bit, uh, wheat biscuits. Oh, and that overly diluted branded blackcurrant juice. Earth cuisine is just the worst. I know you're bitter about the menu, trust me, I know it isn't the best, but there was no need for that. I think we're done here. I do have a world to take over now. Somehow I don't think you do. What do you call yourself? I am the Kraken Horde. I am armed with deadly buzzsaws, capable of slicing through the hardest of materials. And I have an acid blaster. An acid blaster which I will use to obliterate the pathetic people of this puny planet. Blimey. That... that is a bit, uh... Anyway, I'm the Doctor. And if there's anything I dislike... It's people thinking they can take over this planet while I'm around. That, and people who let me get a bit too close to their controls. Transmat activated. Oh, for the love of monsters, what have you done? I've engaged the ship's reverse teleportation function. It's going to send you to Klom in about 20 seconds. Minus me, of course. I'm off. Should have told you not to let me too close to the any key. Oh, and, uh, say hi to Raxacory Cafadipatorius for me. Don't think this will stop me, Doctor. 
I'll claim what I have rightfully earned. Soon enough. And I'll be waiting, as will so many of my friends. This planet is defended. Never forget it. Just where do these guys keep coming from? <laughs>